So here we have 28th Street on the IRT Broadway 7th Avenue line. It's uh, very cold while I record this. So here we are, 28th Street and the 7th Avenue. There are four entrances here, one straight across. Here we go, let's change the FOV. So there's one straight across 7th Avenue, another diagonally across the avenue and then there's another one right there blocked by the bus so let's head into the station <sighs> cold at okay, 28th street let's enter the station a bit renovated quite mildly renovated <laughs> um okay here we are, 28th. Really close to Penn Station. I just walked here, actually. It's that close. Okay, so the other entrance just comes straight down and then makes a sharp turn. And of course, there's that one. There are these uh, mosaics, quite low. And uh, now, let's uh, tour the station. So the train is eight minutes away. Um, so let's go on. Not sure if I'm going to go to both sides here because I don't have an unlimited card and it looks like it's the same. Please work. This uh, station is quite bland. Not nearly as much to look at here as with the uh, other one. But uh, did this thing shut the fuck up so I can do my tour? Oh my god, it's fucking annoying. But uh, yeah, Penn Station is very close to this one. You can already see it right there, and I'm not even zoomed in, I'm actually zoomed out. Oh my god, that thing's fucking annoying. Shut the fuck up. No one even listens to those. Okay, so this is where the platforms were extended uh, when the IRT was doing its platform extensions. And you can see that. That's where it changes, and then uh, the train's coming over now, so you're not going to be able to hear me. And we come to the end of the platform right here. Why is it still there? Okay, so, come to the end. The train just across there. Looks like the uh, tunnel, the tunnel supports protrude into the station a bit. That uh, flat area over there. Okay, so now I'll head over to the other part of the station. Um, I'm not going to go to the uptown side because it's the same thing. And I don't want to swipe again for a tour of a station. But yeah, I'm waiting for this train to leave so I can show the other side. Express train going by, and 
R62-3 train. Okay, there it goes. Okay, so uh, one thing I did notice was that the ceiling gets lower towards the mezzanine, and I'm not sure why. Uh, whoa. There are icicles. There you go. There's your representation of how cold it is. So there are icicles up there. So the other side's mezzanine is exactly the same as this one's. And the mosaics are a bit different over here though. I know these are lower tile bands. So other mezzanine, exactly the same. And let's see what this side of the station looks like. I do have these uh, patterns down here. These uh, squares, looks like you have one on either end. And then this empty area. So you have two of these and then one of those and that's it as an emergency exit instead of the second one. So we come over here and we have the uh, dual contracts mosaic, which is split. What? Why is it split like that? That's strange. So you come over down here. You have these doors, benches, and of course your dual contracts. Era mosaic. This one has the borders and stuff around it. And yeah, I am holding my Metro card because it's cold and I don't want to take it out again. <laughs> so that's why I'm still uh, holding it. So what I'm going to do here is take the next local train uh, to 23rd so that I don't have to go out into the cold again. It's very cold. You saw the icicles. And these stations are very shallow. Huh. Why do they cover up the vents like that? I wonder what that's for. Is it like heat resistance or something or cold resistance? Because if it's for cold resistance, it's not doing much of anything. Then that one exits out and it bends, I think. So it goes that way and then it comes back up, I'd assume. Okay, so that is 28th Street. Oh my God, shut the fuck up. No one listens to this. Waiting for this to end so I can do my outro. Yep. Okay, uh, if you enjoyed this tour, then subscribe and uh, leave a like. Goodbye.